Hi everybody, Andrew Rice out here at the Western Savannah Harbor Resort in Savannah, Georgia and today we're talking bull striking. In particular, I would love to give you some information to help you start hitting those really compressed draws and for a right hander that's going to mean a shot that starts to the right and curves back to the target. Functional draws. Two things we need in order to make those functional draws come to life. Number one, we need a club path that's traveling from in to out. And number two, we need a club face that is slightly closed to the club path. So a cool little checkpoint I want to show you to enable you to get into a better position to hit those nicely compressed, great feeling, crisp draws that start right and curve back. Speaking as a right-hander, of course. Let's take a look. So all I've got is a seven iron here. I've got my alignment rod to help me aim at my target out in the distance there. And I'm gonna set up and take this up to the top and come halfway down. Now, club path. A good checkpoint to ensure that the club head is gonna be traveling from in to out through impact is to make sure at this point, when the shaft is parallel to the ground, that the club head is inside the hands. I never wanna see the club head outside the hands. Very difficult to hit proper draws that way. So the club head needs to stay inside the hands. And number two, I would love to see this wrist get bowed that way so the face is tilted down. So I need the club head in and the face tilted down. From there, I feel like I can hit draws, functional draws all day long. So a good little drill. Get set up. One, club head is inside, face is tilted down. Two, and then we're gonna hit this on three, okay? Just checking on that all important checkpoint there to work on club path and face angle. Here we go, let's give it a go. Hit it on three, Andrew, come on. So, one, two, and I don't think you could see that, but the ball took off to the right and had a little too much draw on it. I'm trying to illustrate something there, but you want to get a feel for that club path traveling in to out and the face being a little close to the target. And a great way for you to do it is get that club in with that face tilted down. If you can do that, more compression, better power, better distance to your shots, and who wouldn't want to hit some nice draws? Give it a go. Check back next week for more.